next move. We're, we're going to go over what happens when he counters us. A couple, couple ways to counter us on this one. Besides, um, total, you know, if he gets that, if he makes a C with his body, go ahead, then I'm not going to go uh, power half or figure four. I'm going to switch off power half. Or in this case, I'm in such bad position, I'm going to have to do a seatbelt technique. If he hits me to here, I'm going to grab my own ankle. Or if you have cankles, grab it. All right? I'm going to grab my ankle and I'm going to tighten the seatbelt. This is like locking hands, Legal, legalized uh, cheating uh, technique, right? All right, and then, and then what I do is I post here and post my head here. So go ahead and move. Okay, and when he starts to move, that's when I come in and uh, use my foot as a hand here and elevate. Okay, so go ahead and move around. And when he comes up, I can attack. All right. So basically, this is a hold. It's not a turn. You may be able to tilt him up by elevating your ankle, but for the most, if he's a fish, but for the most part, it's a hold technique, and you're trying to neutralize him so that you can get back up into position and work your figure four power half. Make sense? So one more time. And this is something that I want you to drill in conjunction with what I'm teaching here in a little bit, because we don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, so why don't you... Bring your hips up and hit me down. Go. All right, so I'm here. Now, what do most people do here? They come up here, right? And then they, this guy brings in his uh, elbow and brings his butt up. And then you're here. You been here? Yeah. Well, you better be able to scramble then. He comes up. I better be able to scramble and get out of here. Don't do that one at home, by the way. That's for uh, daddy long legs here to do, but you guys should, probably shouldn't be doing that one. All right, so he hips me down. I grab my ankle, how do I tighten it? Get, tighten the uh, passenger side seatbelt, right here. Block, head in the back. Don't just block here, block like this so that you get the whole arm. And if he keeps moving, I move with him. And then once you find uh, kind of a, uh, mo a moment to go, chop, elevate, come up, power half. So that's the first way for them to counter us. Second one, I got a figure four tight. I go to take him over, but we get here. Now sometimes, even if I kept my hips squared to the mat, this is gonna happen. Even with my ladle, I can't get him. Right? All right, allow him to hip you back down. Go ahead. Now I don't go right there, you see what I did? I don't go to my knee. When he hips me back down, go ahead. I touch my toe and go again. And trust me, it's twice the pain, right? I'm like a python. As he's hipping me over, my figure four gets tighter and tighter. Momentum starts working my way. And uh, really, there's a lot more pain on there. But I got to do it right. If, I, if he hits me down here and I go to my knee, he's free to do whatever he wants. If he hits me down here and I touch and I go again, a lot more pain involved. Now notice, I am going off to the side, but that's when, I'm, when I have to cover and score. I'm not going out to the side when he's, you know, at an angle. Uh, if he's 90, I may cover and score. But I'm using a lot of ladle while I'm doing that. Third technique. We're going to do three in a row here. Three different options. Uh, a beaters. These are my A beaters. I'm going to beat the eggs. Because what's going to happen is when I get my figure four and he knows I'm good at figure four, What's he going to do? The bury his head. Go ahead. So that's when I come in an egg beat. So I get these, and God gave me some good ones. See those? So what I do is I put these in his eye socket conveniently. You know, you go for the cross face, but just uh, just so happens it ends up in his eye socket, which is, you know. But again, I'm not coming in and doing that. You know, it's, it's real slick. He's burying his head. Dig it out. Got my ladle. You see that? So we go egg beater to ladle out the eggs, right? Okay, is that going to help you remember it? All right, he's burying his hat, so I'm here. I can't get it. Ladle, or uh, egg beater, ladle. Crouching tiger, drive. Good technique, why? What did I do? Surfed. Bad technique, helicopter it over, right? All right, one more time. Here's all three put together. All right. First one, I'm riding, but he hits me down hard. And I fall to here, grab your own ankle, tighten the seatbelt. 
Find the seat belt by getting hip to hip. Lock, support it with your head. Second one. Ah, uh, what is the second? Oh, yeah. Trigger four. Run, he hips me down. Touch, go again, he hips me down. Touch, go again. Look at his face, should be purple. Figure four. Try to get it, he's burning his head, I can't get in there. Label it out. Drive, Lit. or excuse me. Uh, a beater it out, get the ladle score. Points, got it? Can you remember all three? All right, go.